in this video we're going to look at uh, how do we figure out uh, whether somebody needs a developer key or an object key developer key is basically uh, when somebody wants to create a program so let's go and check it out let's go to sc16 slash in sc16 sorry let's go to sc11 okay so i want to create a table okay z user okay click on create let's say user one so here it's basically now asking me for an uh, access key so this basically what it means is i need to have a developer key for me to create this object okay so this has to be registered in service marketplace and with the id so your id has to be registered there and that will generate a key with that key you can continue okay so this is what is developer key okay so now let's look at object key okay let's say you have an so object key is basically if you if you want to modify an sap object then you need an object key u s r 02 so this is a pre delivered sap table right if you want to change that so it's asking for access key x key right so it's looking for a developer key here and plus also it's looking for the access key to change this one so this is what is called access key what, what basically it means is uh, you have to register this object to the sap and then they will generate a key so that way sap can track and monitor what sap object you have changed so this will help them identify the objects during upgrade if there is an issue they can tell you that hey this issue is caused because you modified this object okay so uh, <clears throat> one more thing i want to show you is so how do we look for all the developers of the system right so you go to slash and se <coughs> 16 so dev access table that is a table <coughs> basically <coughs> look for how many entries are there so these are the people these are the developers who are having access to create programs okay so this is how we figure out who are the developers in your system okay thanks for watching the video please click and subscribe and post your comments if you have any questions thank you